For question 23, which set of ordered pairs represents a function? And I wrote out uh, the rule for evaluating this, and it's when your domain or your x-coordinate in your ordered pairs matches with exactly one element in your range or your y. So if you look on A, we have a negative 5 for the x here, but we also have a negative 5 in the x here. But notice this one maps to a, the same x maps to a 5 there, but it maps to a negative 6 here. It can only go to exactly one element in the range y. We have a 5 and a negative 6, so it cannot be a. How about on b? Well, we have negative 1 on that domain three times, but each thing it maps to on the range is different. Negative 1, 6, 10, so it cannot be b. On C, you have a negative 3, a 2, and a negative 7. And those are all different. And the negative 3 goes to a 7, 2 goes to a 5, negative 7 goes to 7. And so those are all different things that are being pointed to. So there's only one match for each. So our answer on this one is definitely going to be C. C is the answer.